This is Greg Pugh from GP Animations. Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about drawing on your iPad. Uh, the tools I'll be using today are a Wacom Bamboo Stylus. Uh, you're free to use your finger if you'd like to draw on the iPad or if you have one of the higher end pressure sensitive styluses, that'd be even better, or styli. And the app we'll be using today is Sketchbook Pro. If you do have a pressure sensitive stylus, just go into your preferences and where it says third party pen connection you can choose your stylus there and Sketchbook Pro will let you use pressure sensitive pens. Uh, first thing I like to do is since Sketchbook Pro lets you use layers is to do the ref, uh, very first draft with the pencil tool in a lighter color and I'll just do something really quick here just a rough sketch we'll do a uh, spray paint can. So it doesn't have to be anything great. There, that'll do. Uh, you can drag your picture around if you put two fingers on the screen and you can also pinch and zoom that way which makes it nice since you don't have to always have uh, little hotkeys for zoom in, zoom out. Then I'll choose my brush tool change the diameter, go to the layers panel, start a new layer on top of the sketch layer, and then we'll choose different brush color. Let's go with black. So what I'll do here, eh, that's a little too thick, hit the undo key. I'm just gonna do a outline of the spray paint can. And just roughly adhering to the sketch that I just made. And that should do. Then what you can do is change the diameter to be a little thinner. And do the more detailed work. Again, just pinch and zoom. Uh, this is one of my favorite drawing apps available for the iPad just because mainly of the layers because if you use uh, Sketchbook Pro on your computer or on Photoshop even you're probably used to working in layers so it's kind of nice to have them here alright so there's the minor details I guess we'll make a little bit bigger brush and then do a little paint drop coming out and it's a little too big that'll do okay so now we don't need that sketch layer anymore so let's go into our layers panel delete the sketch layer make a new layer and drag it below the outline and this is going to be where we put our color so I'm going to make it red and I'll increase the uh, brush size a little bit so it doesn't take too long to fill this thing in we'll just do a rough outline again it's not really important to stay too much in the lines and I'll show you why pretty good. Tap the brush tool then you can select the paint bucket a little flood fill and there you go. So now I'll select the silver change the brush size we can't switch the brush that should be good and this is why I wasn't too concerned about staying in the lines because you can just paint over that old color if you went out of the lines at all. I'm not going to bother flood filling this since it's such a small area. And we'll scroll up to the top. Just 
Let's do a rough trace. Ah, I won't flood fill this either. It's not that big of a spot. We'll just fill it all in with the brush tool. And then we'll do the paint drop. And then we'll do the little highlight with white here. And that part is done. So while I have the white selected, <coughs> we'll just do a little label there. It's a little too big. That'll do. Uh, for this, I'll use the fill tool. And it's not perfect, so you will have to kind of go in there and adjust it, but it does save a decent amount of time to not have to use the brush tool there. Now I'll select a lighter color of gray for some highlights. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to do the highlights on the right hand side here. And I'll do the silver on the bottom as well. And I'll do some red highlighting as well. Try to stay in the lines a little bit better for this one. And then we'll do some shadows on the other side. So maybe a little bit darker gray. And maybe a darker red. And just pinch and zoom. And there you go. Oops. Very basic drawing in Sketchbook Pro. But it also just an example how to use layers. So if you have any questions, uh, just leave some on my blog and I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. Uh, I'm also probably going to cover Animation Desk, which is an app that lets you create animations. Uh, it's kind of like Flash, a little bit more basic though. And then if you'd like, I can also cover Make Pixel Art, which lets you draw 8-bit graphics like that used to be on Nintendo. So I hope you enjoyed this video.